to buy in Neokio. You go on the website, you click where you want to buy stuff from, or um, other things that can buy from other websites if you want. I bought through Mercari. So you type in what you want. Translates it to English, or I mean to Japanese from English. Then you find what you want. You can even sort by price. Might take a couple pages, depending on, you know, the cheapest one available. Okay, well, let's say I want this. I think that's a DS Lite. Uh, this isn't translated for some reason. So go down here to product description and go to English. There you go, DS Lite, treated as junk. So often they call it junk, but it isn't actually, uh, you know, really junk. It's just it just means it's kind of damaged. Um, so here it is. It clearly seems like it's working. Um, stylus looks like junk though, but it clearly must work. Um, but always check your description. You can play Game Boy Advance and DS. There you go. There is yellowing on the screen. You may want to notice that if you're going to buy that from Japan. It seems often. Also view the pictures. Anyway, let's say that looks good. Twenty bucks, and shipping postage included, which means it'll ship to Mer to uh, Nyokyo for free. Not your shipping, but their shipping. They make a buy request. Then the request gets confirmed. Then you pay, I think. Then they'll ship it to Nyokyo's warehouse. Then you can ship it directly to you, or you can make another purchase. Let's just say I want both of these also as another purchase. You'd buy this, wait for the confirmation, then it would ship to the warehouse after you pay. Then you have two orders, two separate orders. Then let's say you're ready for that, you go to your orders. Um, it'll tell you when they get there, they'll be finished. They'll be at the warehouse, ready to be shipped. Then you can click storage, and then you click pack. So you want to put them together, right, to ship into one box instead of two for cheaper shipping. If they're small enough, I mean, even if they're big enough, you can, you know, I'm sure they can figure it out. So then you pack, you pay 500 yen, which is like $3. For every order, there is a 250 yen charge, which is $1.60, pretty cheap. And then packing is 500 yen, which is 320. You know, it's still pretty cheap. Each time you pay separately, you don't need to use the wallet. You can pay directly to them. I use Stripe. I didn't use uh, PayPal. Stripe was also the cheapest, I think. Then you have one package. Then you select your shipping option options here. It'll tell you the exact dollar amount, and it'll estimate it. What I did was I measured it online by Googling it with information like this. And then I compared them, so I knew it would fit, because I wanted it to fit in a small package, which is this giant box compared to my purchase. And then you let them ship it, and it'll come with you, and you get tracking, and it's all good. And there's insurance, which you can buy if you don't want to. You know, up to you. The main confusing thing was the shipping, and making sure it could fit in a small package small package, Japan small package, and like what the exact reasoning for that was, and it seems like it is just by weight and the exact dimensions of it in total. You can estimate. I assumed it was like this big. I, I, I knew it fit. And then uh, that service is the cheapest. So there you go. It's pretty cheap. Not too bad. But, you know, Nyokyo, pretty good. Now for the items I actually bought, um, The Game Boy Advance did not play a Game Boy Color game, which was pretty annoying, even though it said it would. It, there were pictures that said it would, and it didn't. It definitely fit into it and would boot. Um, I'd show you, but I tried to repair it, and, and it didn't work so far. Um, but, you know, I knew it was coming damaged, so that was completely fine. Everything else on it is pretty good, though, the buttons and everything. You know, this is super clean. Look at that. Yeah, it's just like a display page. 
case. This is really good. There's no sticker on the top part though, but it's got the bottom one, so that's pretty cool. No back cover case, um, battery protector, but it's like a dollar. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll fix this eventually. It's okay. Um, this one was actually cheaper. I don't know how, because this can play Game Boy games if you mod it, um, which I did. And um, it, it, you know, it works great. I mean, it's like brand, it's like branded new. There's no scratches on it whatsoever. I mean, there is like on the top half, but I feel like that's impossible to not. If you look at the bottom, it's brand new. Um, comes with the stylus, not the big stylus, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with that anyway. And uh, I don't know, it just you know plays games great. It's in Japanese, but it doesn't matter. Once you mod it, you can play any language, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and DS games aren't even region locked, so even without modding, it's fine. It is a little yellow, and there's a very slight dark spot right there. Oh, this didn't load for some reason. There we go. So it works completely fine. I mean, there's a little tiny ding in the corner right there. It's barely even visible. And it's slightly yellow, but I mean, like, once you're playing a... Once you're in-game, you can't even see it. That's all.